So we've looked at that poor student with their quiz so many times. Now let's take another second to look at that biomedical research paper where 81% of people who have coronary bypass surgery are over age 60. And yes, that is a real paper and real research. So 20 random coronary bypass patients are sampled and the number who are over 60 is recorded. All right, so you'll notice right here, N is 20. It's a little sneaky because it was written as a word instead of a number, but it's 20 patients. And P is right here. It's the probability of success right there. So it's 0 0.81. All right, we want the probability that fewer than 15 of them, of the people that were selected in this random sample are over age 60. Okay, fewer than, fewer than. So you want to grab that table and look for those words. Fewer than 15 would be less than 15. Okay, so we're looking for the probability that X is less than 15, which according to the table, and again, if you're using StatCrunch, you don't have to write this down, but it's binome C, CDF, last space to write my C. So binome CDF, So fewer than would be number two, binom CDF N P X minus one. So I can write rule number two right over here for my own self. CDF N, N was 20. So I can write 20 right here. P, which was 0 0.81. And then X minus 1. So we want fewer than 15. So we want 15 take away 1. So you can type that into a calculator. So this will be different. We haven't done this particular problem before with the calculator. So binome CDF. I'll actually have to type something new. It's 15. Or sorry, it's 20. 20 right here. And then 0 0.81 right here. And we want 15 take away 1 right here and press enter and we say it's 0.1643. In StatCrunch, it'll be a new one, so I'm gonna close this one. Stat calculators binomial. I'm gonna tell it 20. I'll tab over 0 0.81. And I want, for this case, I want it to be less than, fewer than 15, enter. StatCrunch is nice because you can actually choose the correct symbol for fewer than, which is less than. And it's 0.1643, right there. Okay, next. I want the probability that more than 13 of them are over age 60. So that's the probability that X is more than 13, greater than 13. Okay, so let's go back and look at the list more than is greater than right here. So it's rule number four. So we want one minus binome CDF NPX. So we write rule number four for our own self. That way we know what we're doing. And it's one takeaway binome CDF. And then we type in X over here, which in this case was 13. That's the X value that was given. The 20 and the 0.81 are staying consistent through the whole problem. And I'm, I'm going to do stat crunch first on this one. So I would just switch it to a greater than and say 13. Enter. And there it is. 0.9311. On the calculator, it's going to be a bit more work. So I have to type 1 minus, then go to the distribution, grab the binome CDF, 20 and 0.81 are fine, but I want to type 13 in here and paste. And then press paste or press enter. And there you see, 0 0.93109. So it's getting you the right answer both ways, um, but it's a lot less work, in my opinion, with the stat crunch calculator. All right, next one. The probability that at most 13. 13 of them are over age, six, thir over age 60 or over. Now I know what you're thinking. Didn't we just do that? No, you didn't. More than is a greater than. At most is actually a less than or equal to. We're actually doing rule number three here. So this one is a rule number three. 
This is the probability that x is at most 13. So x is less than or equal to 13, which is the complement of this one. They're going to add to 1, but I'll prove it to you. So this is binome CDF. And you'll actually get to include 13 on this because it says x. We just use 20 and 0.81. So if I go back to the stat crunch, I would just turn this into a less than or equal to. And there it is, 0 0.0689. Now if I use the calculator, it would be the binomial piece that I just did, but without the 1 minus. So I'll go back to binome CDF. 20.8113 and I'll paste it in and press enter and there you get it 0 0.0689 and you'll notice those two numbers 0 0.9311 and 0 0.0689 they add up to 1 because either you're less than or equal to 13 or you're more than 13 and those are the two probabilities we just found sneaky huh all right what about the probability that at least 18 of them are over age 60 all right, at least 18 means greater than or equal to 18. So that's actually rule number five, the trickiest of the rules. It's right here. It says at least right in there. So you're going to use greater than or equal to, which I just did, and it's 1 minus binome CDF. So this is 1 minus binome CDF. Of course, the first two numbers are not changing, but the last one will be 18 take away 1. You follow it exactly from the list, and you won't go wrong. And yet again, stat crunch would be way easier, because stat crunch, I'll just be able to change this to a greater than or equal to, and make it 18. Enter. There. But on the calculator, if, if you don't have stat crunch, or you don't want to use stat crunch, you'll have to do 1 minus, grab the binome CDF, 20 and 0.81 are fine because I already have those in. And then I type 18 minus 1, or you can just type 17, either way. And there you have it, 0.2386, just like stat crunch found. And again, if you're using stat crunch, you don't necessarily have to write all the calculator stuff. You do need this piece in front, that part you need, but the rest of it is not necessary. All right, now the hardest ones. Look out. When you see the between, you know this is going to be the most difficult part. Okay, because that one's not per se in the table. Um, so we'll have to kind of, it's really cobbling together a couple rules. So you want the probability that between 12 and 15 of them, and notice how it says inclusive right there. That's because it's 12 less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 15, like that. All right, let's see if you remember how to do it. It's binome CDF 20.81. You're sort of using rule, um, you're sort of using rule number three twice or rule number three and rule number two, depending on how you want to think of it. So I'm going to use um, 15 right here minus, and then I do it again, binome CDF. This is the hard part. Usually people are okay with the 15. It's the next part. It's 20.81, and you want to not include 12, right? You want it to go 12, 13, 14, 15. So if I put 12 here, I've actually cut 12 off. I want to use 11 here, or if you will, 12 take away 1. That would be correct. All right. Um, again, on the count on StatCrunch, it's easy. You just click between and say 12, 12, and 15. Enter. And there it is, 0 0.3200. The calculator is going to be a bit more work. So I have to go to the distribution, go to binome CDF. I have to tell it 15 right here, paste. And then I have to subtract before I press enter on anything, just subtract and do it again. Although technically you could press enter and it wouldn't kill you, but it's just easier if you type it all in one line. And then you want 12 take away one here and make it 11 and press enter. And there you have it. Same answer that you came up with 
with um, stack crunch, but a lot easier in stack crunch. Three, two, zero, zero. And again, I will make the note. This is way easier in stack crunch. Again, I would argue all of this is easier in stack crunch, but there you have it. All right, last one. Suppose all of them, ooh, sneaky, all of them are over age 65. Would that be unusual? Explain using probability. I'm going to guess it is, but I'm not 100% sure. All of them is kind of sneaky. That's a word that's in there, though. Do you see it? It's at the top of the list, all. It's right here. Right, because if all of them are over age 60, that means that your number for X is 20, right? So all of them would mean you're looking for the probability that X equals 20, all of them. So this is actually rule number one, which we hadn't used yet before. You notice binome PDF is actually kind of a rare one to use. We don't use that one as often. So binome PDF, it's still 20 here. It's still 0.81 here. But we would actually put 20 in, and we would get an answer. I'll go grab StatCrunch first. Um, notice we're on the between portion down here. You can still see because it's got the less than or equal to. So I'm just going to click on standard. I'll choose equal, and I'll make it 20. Enter. And there you have it. There's the probability of 20, 0 0.017 or 0 0.0147. It's the height of that bar right there. On the calculator, this one actually will be easy. So we go to binome PDF. And you really do not have to do both of these things. You just pick one. So either use the calculator or use StatCrunch. Right? Get, and I, again, I would recommend StatCrunch, but if you're not comfortable with it, you can use the calculator. So it's 0 0.01478. So I guess I would round that to 0, 0148, but that's fine. Um, so would that be unusual? So that's the probability. Would that be unusual? Yes, unusual. Because, oh, I guess, I mean, I'll just leave it unusual. Because the probability of all 20 um, over 60, is what we were finding, is equal to 0 0.0148 which is less than 0 0.05. 0 0.05 is our threshold for unusual, right? Unusual means less than 5%. And 1.478% is well less than 5%. 0 0.01 is less than 0 0.05. So this would be considered unusual. but you have to find that probability correctly in order to be able to make that argument. You can't just say, yes, it's unusual, or no, it's not, without finding the probability in order to make the argument correct.